Hey, how's everybody today? Man, I come up with something this morning, and I just uh, will want to show it to you because it's really interesting. It'll be interesting for any of you people out there who are interested and in play with copper and all. Oh, and I just want to show you. It's gone to showing you that. I want to make a video kind of to show you my process. I got the how I got there and where I'm going. So you will um, appreciate the process I go through. Now usually I start out with a square piece of copper and this and the piece I'm going to show you is a little bit thinner. Usually I use a, just a little bit thicker piece. I'm not sure what gauge this is. It's this is just some scrap I've got. Usually I will use a uh, 20 gauge and I will, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, nature's not perfect. This is supposed to be made to natural. So we're going to do it just like that. And a lot of times, like I'll take a pencil or a marker, and I will just draw out what I'm going to cut. But I've done this several times, so I think I know what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go start down here at the bottom. So go up just right there almost to the edge this is going to be really long this is what I want and this is going to be interesting because I am making it kind of long like this so there's what you've got and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this two or three times um I'm going to put on my ear protection I have a little bit of a uh, Nidus, I think they call it. So the little sharp hammering noises kind of hurt my ears. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and roll that down. I'm going to leave this little ridge. But I won't roll that down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hammer. And I'm going to keep hammering that. And I'm going to work on stretching it out. We'll go along the edges like that. But you can see how it's kind of starting to dig into the metal. And what that tells me is I need to heat it. And I'll take this propane torch. And I usually do this outside. I've got a... Um, Extinguish right there, but I usually do this outside. So I'll do that and I'll just keep that up. I'm not gonna do it right here, but it will heat that metal up and it will become soft as butter. And I'll be able to hammer it and stretch it. I don't want to do it too much now because it looks like it's cutting into the metal. And you don't want it to cut into the metal. So, we've got that. And what I will do, so I'll heat that. And then I'll cool it off. I'll throw it out there in the snow. And I'll cool it off. And I'll do that a minimum of three or four times. And then I'll show you where we've got to now. Say hello to everybody. How y'all doing over there? Y'all quarantini? So I'm in here, and this is the piece that I'm working on. I let it soak, and I'm um, turn this around so y'all can get a better view. There you go. And so I, what I did was I actually um, covered this in Heinz 57 sauce. And um and chili chili sauce. Look at that pat patina I've got in there. I hadn't rinsed it off yet. Let's rinse it off and see what we're gonna get. We want kind of warm water, not really hot. It's cool. But I don't know how much this may all rinse off. I don't know. I hope not. I think it's all dried on there pretty good. You can see that. I 
And that looks pretty good. Just like that. Oh, look at that. See, the 157 actually cleaned some of it, or the chili sauce, whichever, while it also made that tortilla. That's what I was surprised at. I wanted it to clean it like that, because I'm going to show you the next step. But I didn't realize I would get this potato like that. And that's just great. I want to get all that, you know, mustard and stuff. And some of that may be still, well, it's pretty clean. That could still be from uh, heating it. When, that, when you heat it and cool it, that, that is. I think that's um, from heating and cooling it. Look at that from the, look at that. Look at some of it off. That doesn't really matter, but still pretty cool looking. Look, sorry, I didn't mean to get out of frame, man. Look at that. That is still, isn't that cool looking? You see how that's real? I don't know how much of that y'all saw as you're talking about. But there's a, see how clean that has gotten from the uh, 157 sauce? And then you have that, that patina. I was really surprised at. You want to just get all that off. So some of it came off. But even here, look at that. That is even kind of like a yellow gold almost. So now I don't know how much this next thing I'm going to do is going to affect it. Let's take this back in here. And then of course eventually we'll open it up. And that is a real surprise. So now I've got, um, let me see, do I have a lighter? Yeah, so I've got this little pencil torch my brother got me from, um, what's that, uh, Harbor, Harbor Freight. Um, the, the uh, it doesn't, it, it's kind of, uh, get, gotten a little ghetto on me, but let's see, we can make it work. So just open it up, and I heat it. So now let me put this back where you can see. This is a kind of amazing. So with this, I'm going to kind of try to paint. And what you got to do is you got to heat this up. You heat right up out here where the patina's not quite so. So let me turn that up just a little bit. There we go. And what's going to do is this is going to heat that metal up. Not quite there. It looks like it, but it's going to go just a little bit further. You'll see the heat will start. And we're going to go. We're going to go ahead. We're going to flip it. And there we go. We're going to turn it right around here. Um, it would be nice if I keep some of that green patina, but I'm not really worried about it. This is really what I want to do. You can see the marks. Um, from the hammer it's going to give it a real organic look and this is also changing you know it's folded so the inside is really going to be interesting so let's see what happens here it's getting there it's heating up and you got to see when it starts doing like that you got to watch out because that is going to keep on changing colors. Can you see that? And we'll come over this other side. You can get some really nice colors sometimes. Oh, but almost, there's still a little bit of the green. But yeah, most of it's gone. This, this may be too thin here for it to color really nicely, but you can see. So you see that, how it's kind of colored there. I'm not sure how well you can see that. 
I think it could go just a little bit more though. But I'm sure it could. It'll change color even more. It's just beginning. Now you see that? Can you see how that turned blue there? I love that. I'm going to leave that just like that. Up oh, there's some more. Come on, baby. And like I say, as soon as you see the color you want, you want to pull it away. Or it will see that right here. Can I don't know, can you see that? See that one, that, that piece there got a little bit too hot. It changed back color on me. But I'm going to see if I can hit it again now. Let's see what happens. Oops. There you go. See how that turned? Man, that's beautiful. Let's go on this other side here. And unfortunately, we've lost all the patina from the, from the uh, Hind 57, but that was really kind of a surprise anyway. I may do that again, work with that a little bit more, and um, just leave it with that patina, because that was a really bright, beautiful patina there. Let's see what we can get right here. Looks like it's starting to get there. I think I'm going to pull away. Get a little bit down here. So this is metal is really thin. I don't know what we're going to get when I open it. We may have to scrap this whole thing. But right now it's looking pretty good. Um, we've got that, we've got that, we're going to go in here and cool it off, I'll be right back. So, as you can see, I've rinsed it, I've dried it, um, it isn't the prettiest that I've ever done, I'll have to say. And again, that may be, I'm thinking maybe the quality of the metal. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. I can always clean this and do it all over again. Especially with a thicker piece of metal. So what we're going to do is we're going to open her up. Try to. Oh, there's a spot. And what I do is just... you got to remember this metal has been heated and it is like butter. So you, you want to slide that down through there, both sides. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. And then you open her up, just kind of like that. And what I think I'm going to do here is um. I'm going to try and color a little bit more. I love the design there, but it needs a little color, I think. I think I need to dry it off a little bit more. Um, let's take that. I think that may be affecting the color too, as that it might be still wet a little bit. So we've got that, just like that. I'll come back poke a hole in one end or the other or maybe both depending on what happens with the design move my knife get this ready and it may be better what I might actually end up doing is cleaning this and coming back and redoing it but let's see what we got here Let's see what kind of effect we can get. Oh, there you go. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're getting a little bit of color there. It really doesn't take much with this thin. The metal, this metal's so thin. But yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Can you see that? We're getting some really good colors there. I think we're going to leave it just like that. So now what I'll do is I'll poke a hole. I'll let that cool. I'll put a hole in one end. Like I say, I'll, I'll create it. You'll see the finished creation in a couple of days or so. So peace out. Enjoy. All right, so actually there is a little bit more that we do to this piece. Um, what I will do is I will, I like for it to catch the wind. You know, that's what most of these pieces are for. So I'll twist it. I'll bend it around like that. I'll even take my little jewelers round those pliers there. Make little bends down through there. You know, it just helps make it look more interesting. Like I say, this is a really thin piece. I can't do a lot with it. It feels like it could tear, actually. Well, it actually did right there. So, but that's okay. Um, this is going, and this will actually help make the metals, you know, the more you mess with copper, the, um, the uh, stronger it gets, you know, it'll get stronger. So, we're just going to bend it a little bit more. Kind of like that. You see, it just gives a little bit of interest. Doesn't look too bad, actually. Um, I thought about redoing it. Thought about, uh, but I actually like that. It's real organic looking. Real organic. So what do y'all think? Now, like I say, in a couple of days, I'll show you that I'll probably put a hole like right there. And then I'll hang it. And it'll hang just like that. Okay. Watch for the next video. Subscribe. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Allergies. Not the, uh, you know what. Allergies. I always get allergies when the snow melts. Be sure and subscribe to the channel. Like my videos. Give me a comment. Any of you metal workers out there, give me any hints. Appreciate it. See ya.